every time I touch the track, it's pressure. One of the things we notice is now is when you walk in the stadium, the roar is even bigger. What is it like to feel the embrace of the crowd here? Um, it's amazing. It's a phenomenal feeling. To be fair, she's not alone in feeling that way. To be fair, even the most decorated athletes tend to feel the pressure of going against other world-class athletes. The same goes for Shikari Richardson, who certainly had her fair share of losses. Now, Jamaican athlete Alana Reed is in the picture. Is this a welcome change for the American or not? The Jamaican sprint sensation captured the world's attention with her speedy 10.92 seconds at the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships in Kingston, lowering Veronica Campbell Brown's 22-year-old championship record of 11.13. For avid fans, this did not come as much of a surprise. Reed has always been quick after all. She already showed her sprinting talent in primary school before maturing in high school. When she was 16, Reed became the first U18 woman to break 24 seconds over 200 meter at the biennial athletics competition between North American, Central American, and Caribbean Athletic Associations, the NACAS U23 Championships. The following year in Calais, she won 200-meter bronze at the 2022 World U-20 Championships, her first global medal, before clinching the Carifta Games 100-meter title in the Bahamas last year. She rounded off her big year with two medals at the Pan Americans U-20 in Puerto Rico, 100-meter gold and 4x100-meter relay silver. If it wasn't for certain stuff that happened in 2023, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now and I have to give thanks to God for that," she revealed in her first vlog in January. My biggest moment was the Issa Boys and Girls Championships when I broke the 100-meter record. The fast starts and quick runs from last year influenced her decision to sprint right into professional track after high school instead of competing in college. Her personal best of 10.92, which was good enough for a fifth-place finish at the 2023 Women's 100-meter final at the World Championships behind Richardson, probably swayed her decision to forego joining the University of Oregon. Yep, that's right. The Jamaican chose to hone her athletic career in sunny Florida. She joined the Star Athletics Track Club, led by American Olympic champion Dennis Mitchell, which is also the training base of 23-year-old Richardson. Reed admitted, though, that leaving home and leaping into the professional running circuit hasn't been easy. It's a whole different feeling, especially when you just rush out of high school and just become a professional athlete," she admitted. Moving to a whole different country with my family behind placed me in a zone where I felt lost within myself. I had to pick myself back up and brush it off and say, hey, we are here, we have a goal, we have something to achieve. Mentally, I am not where I want to be, but I am getting there. Sadly, athletes, like everybody else, are also plagued with troubles. Unlike most, though, they had to address their issues quickly in order to perform well at competitions. Fortunately for her, she has a good support system. Shakari Richardson, who is no stranger to mental health concerns, is apparently treating Alana well. At the beginning of the year, Alana lauded American Shakari for aiding her transition to her new training base. As earlier mentioned, Alana is currently sharpening her skills at the same club Shakari and T.T. Terry train in. After setting her record in the Class 1 girls 100 meter at Champs, under the guidance of Corey Bennett from Heidel, Reed strategically relocated to Florida late last year to advance her athletic pursuits. In an interview with the Jamaican Observer, Reed shared, Where Shakari is concerned, it is a good feeling being around her. She continued to say that Shakari has been teaching and showing her a lot of stuff. Like everybody else, she commits mistakes, and she's well aware of that. She teaches me a lot, and she shows me a lot of stuff, she said, talking about Shakari. There are times when I will make a few errors, and she will put me aside and say whatever. So far, the Jamaican teen said that it was the best decision for her, as she's now in the company of world-class sprinters. Apparently, the training has been going well so far. And I have to thank God for that, knowing that I have been adjusting to a new program, a new coach, and a new environment. Based on her results, her earlier words are proven true. In late August, the Jamaican prodigy, supported in track and field by U.S. sprinter Richardson, 
pulled a celebration similar to her idol after winning the World U-20 Championships. Reed flew through the 100 meter in 11.17 seconds, cruising to a gold medal and leaving her competition in the dust. And just like the 2023 100 meter world champion, Reed threw her arms wide open at the finish line, sugarcoated with confidence as she soaked up the moment. That celebration was very shakari, an ex-user commented. But Reed didn't just win, she stormed to victory in Lima, with Adija Hodge from the British Virgin Islands hot on her heels for silver in 11.27 seconds, and Kashana Niles from Barbados taking bronze with 11.37 seconds. This win marked the fourth athlete from Jamaica to win the World U-20 Championships title in succession. That wasn't all, she maintained her momentum for the 4 by 100 meter relay team in Lima, Peru. Not only did she contribute to Jamaica's victory, adding another accolade to their track and field achievements, but her performance also echoed the success of her mentor, Shakari Richardson. The 19-year-old's triumph bore several similarities to Richardson's past victories. Speaking of her relationship with the American, the Jamaican youngster has remained mum about her chances of training with Shakari Richardson next season as she revealed her ambitious targets. Reed told her fans to wait and see how things would turn out, and did not disclose much information about her chances of training with coach Dennis Mitchell at the All-Star Athletics Club next season. I wish not to say at the moment, you guys will see. I mean, wherever I am, I'll do my best, only my best is good enough, Reed said in an interview with the media after being announced as the Burger King brand ambassador. The 19-year-old added that she is currently resting and taking time off the track before resuming normal programming as she looks to take Jamaicans sprinting back to the top. She has yet to set specific times for her races next season, but she believes in her training and knows that when she puts in the work, everything else will fall into place. I'll go back to training and do what I have to do, but as far as right now, I'm being on rest and I'm just taking my time to relax. And then when it's time to go back to train, I know that's where my focus will be," Reed said. Richardson, too, appears to be taking her time resting during the off-season. She has not been posting on her Instagram page as of late, although she still shares updates via her Instagram stories. As a matter of fact, she very recently shared a photo of herself taken during the Paris Olympics. The portrait, which now hangs in what Richardson affectionately calls Big Mama Museum, commemorates a moment of pride, resilience, and redemption after years of dedication and overcoming adversity. In light of this, Richardson also recently made an appearance at her home soil. Shakari returned to her home track for the first time as a two-time Olympic medalist to officially unveil the track named after her at the Dallas ISD's Kincaid Stadium. She officially unveiled the stadium's Shakari Richardson track signage during a football game. It also includes a plaque with a quote from her, I'm doing it for everyone who looks like me. In her speech, Richardson expressed deep gratitude for the overwhelming support she has received from the Dallas community. Watch this to see what other athletes have been up to.